Hui and Natasha Bedeck. Greetings from Turtle Island. My name is Elizabeth Klein and I am the 2020 DFP for the Eastern Shore of Virginia and Fisherman Island National Wildlife Refuges located in the beautiful and very hot 10th state of Virginia. Today we are in the House of Turtle and we will be talking about the Northern Diamondback Terrapin. Virginia is in the House of Mekinek, Turtle, and has 11 officially recognized tribes. Turtle is important to indigenous people of North America as she represents Mother Earth and longevity as turtles can live up to 150 years. The swirls on the diamondback terrapin's carapace reflect the past, present, and future of our people. The 13 plates on the carapace represent the 13 full moons of the year. Terrapins were a part of indigenous diet, however, European settlement led to unsustainable harvesting of the species. Despite terrapins' populations recovering after the Great Depression, the species is still collected for consumption in some states. Terrapins face habitat loss due to coastal development, particularly salt marsh draining. Loss of sand dunes on barrier beaches and increased use of waterways for both commercial and recreational purposes also pose threats to the species. Terrapins drown in derelict ghost traps, crab traps that have been lost or abandoned. They are a significant source of mortality. And finally, road mortality. The reason behind the installation of the new barrier on US Route 13 along Fisherman Island National Wildlife Refuge. Hey guys, before we go over to the barrier, I just wanted you to check out our newly installed Northern Diamondback Terrapin kiosk. And the kiosk is placed along our access road that takes us to the beach where we saw the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. And the reason why this kiosk was placed here, although this area is not necessarily available to the public, is because we do provide educational guided tours on the weekends for the public. And we do that so they can feel involved to species that are native to North America, AKA Turtle Island. Um, this road is monitored by foot survey. And what we do is we come out here um, walk the extent of the access road all the way down to the beach and if we see a gal laying her eggs we will place uh, protective fencing over it um, and it's spaced enough where um, hatchlings are able to get out and then we place a reconnex camera on it so we can monitor for predation um, we're hoping once we are out of this COVID pandemic, we will safely be able to provide these tours again for the public. Uh, a lot of great information. And, uh, oh, the reason why this area is monitored is because it is technically behind the exclusion barrier. So we want to do all we can to um, save these gals and their, their babies uh, because they are the most cutest turtle species ever. And, yeah. Fisherman Island National Wildlife Refuge is a Virginia barrier island consisting of about 1,800 acres. Route US-13 bisects the refuge, eventually becoming the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Since 2006, refuge staff have been monitoring road mortality for nesting females. Beginning in 2007, various types of temporary barriers have been installed. A grant was applied for in 2016 from Federal Highways to install a permanent concrete barrier cameras for monitoring, and installation of kiosks to conduct educational outreach. In January 2020, the exclusion barrier was installed along Fisherman Island National Wildlife Refuge to replace the plastic fencing and corrugated tubing barriers to reduce mortality rates among the northern diamondback terrapin. We are on U.S. Route 13, and as I stated earlier, U.S. Route 13 bisects Fisherman Island National Wildlife Refuge, and does become the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. I just wanted you to see the barrier. Um, it is permanent. There is some maintenance, of course. Um, nothing's perfect. But as I said earlier, we've only had four mortalities this season and um, we're kind of thinking that the barrier is doing its job of preventing terrapins from crossing over and becoming roadkill on Route 13. So with the minimal maintenance, um, we do things such as fill in areas with sand, with gravel, and these types of things, these spots, they naturally occur from rain and soil erosion. 
Um, we also do that on the opposite side um, because we've seen that some terrapins, when they come um, face to face with the barrier, they are trying to dig. And so again, we just place some sand and gravel, cover that area up. You know, they're pretty smart guys. So they, uh, well, ladies actually, they're smart ladies. Um, and they're trying to get to higher ground and they're not out now because I've removed them but we had cameras we had a total of 15 cameras all along the barrier and we were able to observe predation able to see interactions such as terrapins directly nesting right at the barrier site and we've had some gals actually turn away not be interested and go back to where they came from and finally, cameras help to further monitor terrapin interactions with the barrier and to identify their number one predator, raccoons. We're hoping in the near future to extend the concrete barrier and remove all existing plastic corrugated tubing. So thanks for joining me on this brief virtual tour and introduction to our monitoring efforts for the Northern Diamondback Terrapins of Fisherman Island National Wildlife Refuge.